What if I told you one man helped kill millions, and yet his invention saved billions? A genius, a patriot, a villain, a hero. This is the story of Fritz Haber. He changed the world more than most presidents ever have, yet his legacy is split right down the middle between death and life. Born in 1868 in Germany, Fritz Haber was a brilliant chemist, but he wasn't interested in fame. He wanted impact. At the turn of the 20th century, the world faced a crisis. Crops couldn't grow fast enough. People were starving. Farms needed nitrogen, and there just wasn't enough. So Haber did the impossible. He pulled nitrogen from the air and turned it into fertilizer. This single breakthrough, the Haber-Bosch process, fed the world. Today, half of the food you eat exists because of Fritz Haber. But just as he gave life, he also brought death. During World War I, Haber developed chemical weapons, including the first large-scale use of chlorine gas. Tens of thousands died, choking. And when his own wife, also a scientist, protested his role in the war, she took her own life. After the war, the world gave him the highest honor, the Nobel Prize, for his work in chemistry. But history would never forget. His invention saved billions from starvation and laid the groundwork for weapons of mass destruction. Fritz Haber's story isn't black or white. It's a haunting reminder that science is powerful, but power always comes with a choice. What would you have done in his place?